I'm Heather Bird with Metro Mix in the Tennessee, and today we're at the Hollywood 27 Theater for the movie premiere of The Goods. The part so hard, and tonight, Jeremy Piven himself is going to be here walking the red carpet along with many other stars. Let's take a closer look. Hi! Tell me, what's it like being a part of this like Hollywood rat pack of male comedians? That you guys just run together, you get to have, make movies together, it's going to be so much fun. We all live on a ranch in one big bunkhouse, and you get called up every day. Uh, you do whatever scene they tell you. Sometimes you're shooting five or ten movies at once. You don't know, you just have to kind of figure out what character you're supposed to be that day. Uh, so it's tough. Is there a specific film in your career that's been your most favorite so far to work on? They've all been my favorite. Some are more than the others, but right now it's the goods. Uh, obviously, Anchorman was a very special picture in the uh, a lot of fun, but there's something fun in every movie I've ever shot. What's coming up next for you? It is the goods. The goods, uh, August 14th. And after that is Extract on uh, my Judge film coming out in September. And then I will be in Awesome Hank, or Hank, it's called Hank. You can see Grammar's in the fall. You are busy. You're a busy man. Unfortunately. Are you getting a chance to check out anything in Nashville while you're here? I've been here before. We were in town last night. Of course, it was a beautiful thunderstorm. I think 150 lightning strikes in an hour. Uh, and I had to leave tonight to go back to work in Los Angeles. You caught it all last night? Yeah, because the rain. Yeah. We're going to go out, but it's like, oh, I guess we're not. God says no. We're staying home. Thank you so much, and congratulations on the new film. Thank you. So tell me, Jeremy, if this whole thing with acting doesn't work out, would you consider a career in country music? Well, I would consider a, a complete career in country music. The only variable is I cannot sing. Um, and so it, it could pose a problem. I could act in a Brad Paisley video or the Pickler gal. I could, I could possibly be doing a little something on that. But in terms of just performing, it's going to be a problem. So what do you think of Nashville? Yeah, I love that. What have you done while you've been here? Um, I, just, I sat in that parking lot. I did interviews. So yeah. I just start. But I can't wait to get into it here. And the reason why we're doing the premiere here is because Nashville responded so well to the, to the movie. So we wanted to, to connect with them. And I, I'm really happy. Tell me, what do you find funny? What makes you laugh? Uh, what makes me laugh is really the people that actually wrote and produced this movie. They did Talladega Nights and Step Brothers and Anchorman, and I just was so lucky. I brought the script to them, and I'm incredibly lucky that they put this thing together. What does it feel like to be sort of this Brat Pack member of these Hollywood comedians? These guys that get together and they make all these hilarious movies with Will Ferrell. You know, uh, I don't think I'm a part of any kind of Brat or Brat Pack. Um, I've always just kind of like gravitated towards things that make me laugh, and uh, I'm not uh, a part of that kind of Avatar crew that is, you see in all these movies, and I'm a huge fan of Judd. Tell me, is your character anything like Ari? I've done more on this than any movie I've ever done in my life. <laughs> is your character anything like Ari on Entourage in the movie? Uh, my character, Don Reddy in The Goods, is a hardcore salesman. He wakes up and he immediately goes to a strip bar so that he can eat breakfast. <laughs> and he is dirty and he's grudgy, but he can move the metal. He can sell cars. Uh, and and Ari can sell a client, sell scripts, do all that stuff. But that's where the comparisons end because Don Reddy ultimately goes through a life changing event where he realizes, my God, I have no family. I've been on the road my whole life. What am I doing with my life? So he has a cathartic moment that Ari Gold would never have. Do you relate personally at all to I your really character? I really relate to my character. <laughs> it's about time. All right? Perfect. Sure. It was uh, it's definitely a crazy, over the top, broad comedy. And we were just hoping everybody's going to get a good laugh out of it. Um, it takes place on a used car lot that's going bankrupt. And uh, my father, played by James Brolin, is the owner of the car lot and he needs to hire the crazy bunch of mercenaries to come in and save it. It's like, I went to the station in last night. Oh, that's a perfect Yeah, that was amazing. That was amazing. I feel like I walked into like a little secret. You know, everybody was, there was like a session going on. And, and that is they, what it's like. It's like a little, wait, it's like a little secret. Yeah, yeah. Great. So great. So what was this, what was the mood like on the set? Was it usually pretty <laughs> funny? Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, it was really fun. I'm always a big fan of Will Barrel films, and uh, actually I'm a big Jeremy Piven fan too, so uh, Honorage is like 
my favorite show on TV. I've been watching his, his movies since like PCU, which is like 1994. So. If you're going to do a walk on role on Entourage, what kind of character would you play? Mm, let's see, a walk on role. I don't know, man. That would be the coolest role possible, I think. If I could get a role on Entourage, just like a one, even like an extra would be really cool. I'm trying to think of what I would do. Um, maybe knock his character's ass out because he needs it every once in a while. Yeah, that would be good. Yes. Can I go take on for us? Absolutely. We're going we're to try to hire him right tonight. Uh, yeah. No, but we're going to try to hire him. I think he's going to be a great agent for us. We're fired up about that. We think that he can make an impact in this. I've always loved Jeremy Pitt, man. Jeremy Pitt, thanks. He's a huge. Those point blank. Yeah, I mean, he's a huge. Oh, yes. He's got that weird sense of humor. He's like, we like dark comedies anyway, so I'm on the bus all the time. We watch a lot of movies, so we get to see a lot of characters that we follow. He's one of those guys that we all know. So we're just glad to be here. Tell me, is it nice to come out today to a funny movie and laugh after such a tough week last week? It is. It'd be nice to... Um just enjoy myself. Uh, I'm here with my wife. Just kind of have it as a date night. Um, you know, with last week, uh, football camp, training camp coming up, it'd be nice just to uh, enjoy a movie. Um, and it looks like it'll be a good one. Are you a Jeremy Piven fan? Huge Jeremy Piven fan. I, I don't know many people that aren't. I mean, he's uh, he's so hot right now, and, you know, Entourage is great. So um, I caught the, the first episode of the season last night, uh, and I'm excited. Hopefully, I get an opportunity to meet him. Would you consider doing a guest spot on Entourage? I would consider it. I'm not a very good actor. Um, it would take some work and some training, uh, but I, I would consider it. It would be, be. Are you a big fan of Entourage? I actually been on the road so much, and I miss a lot of it. But I, I kind of catch little little moments here and there. But uh, I think Jeremy's on. So I'm really excited to see what happens. Would you consider doing a walk-on role as uh, Vince's girlfriend? Oh, let me think. Heck yeah. <laughs> Consider it. Let's make it happen. Come on. <laughs> now, are you a big Entourage fan? Oh, you. We watch on the bus every day. And we just got back from a like, long stretch on the road with our band. We just got done watching it yesterday. So, to be here and, you know, hopefully get Jeremy. We're going to be on the gym. I'm a fan of Entourage, so I'm so excited to see this movie. I've heard it's uh, really funny. And uh, Will Ferrell had a part of it, so as long as I'm going to be laughing, I'm going to be excited.